Welcome to Electron Online. Now here's a really good example to hopefully get us a really good understanding of what derivatives are and we're also going to get a little bit of an idea of what a differential is. So I'm getting a little ahead of the game but it helps you overall understand what derivatives are. So let's go ahead and look at this example. So here we have a container. It looks like it's the shape of a cone. It's filled with water up to a certain height h and the radius at that point is equal to r and the volume of the amount of water that we have would be equal to one-third the area of the base which would be pi r squared times the height to which the container is filled and the relationship between the height and the radius would be that the radius is one-half the height and what we're trying to find here is we want to find how fast v which is the volume of the water is changing as a function of h so again when you hear the question find out how fast something is changing you right away think about derivatives so what we're going to do here is find the derivative of v with respect to h however notice we have two variables we have an r and an h in there that means we first want to get rid of the r replace it by an h so we can rewrite the, the equation so v is equal to one third times pi times r squared and r is one half h that would be one half h small h quantity squared times h so that would be v is equal to one-third times one-half squared would be one-fourth times pi times h squared times h so finally v is equal to one-twelfth pi h cubed so now we have a relationship between the volume and h only r is no longer part of the equation so now we want to find out how fast the volume is changing with respect to the to h as a function of h so what we want is we want to find dv dh notice that all these are simply constants we're going to take the exponent put it in front multiply times the constants and subtract one from the exponent so this is equal to three times one twelfth pi times h to the three minus one remember that was the technique to find the derivative so this would then become equal to three over twelve times pi times h squared and 3 over 12 is the same as 1 fourth so 1 fourth pi times h squared okay so since dv dh is the derivative of the function which is 1 quarter pi h squared what does that really mean what does dv mean what does dh mean what I'm going to do here is something interesting I'm going to take the dh and move it to the other side of the equation and see what we get now so this is now going to be written as follows dv dv is equal to one quarter pi times h squared times dh now notice what I've done now is I've taken the denominator of that derivative notation and moved to the right side of the equation this here means the change in volume this here means the change in height and of course in this case it would be a change in the height of the water column now notice when the change in the height is negative then the change in the volume would be negative that makes sense if the height decreases then the volume decreases if the change in the height increases then the change in the volume will increase so if the increase if the, if the water level goes up the volume goes up now what we can say is for a particular height and for a particular change in the height we can find the change in the volume so the change in the volume is equal to one quarter pi times the height at any moment in time so let's say that the height was h right there so it'd be h squared times the change in the height so let's put some numbers in there let's say that the height was equal to 10 meters and that the change in the height was equal to 0 0.1 meter what will be the change in the volume when the height changed about one tenth of a meter when the height was already 10 meters so the change in the volume would be equal to one quarter times pi times the height squared 10 meters squared times the change in the height which would be 0 0.1 meter all right let's work that out so the dv would be equal to that would be 100 times 0.1 which is 10 divided by 4 which would be 2.5 so 2.5 times pi times meters cubed because it's meter squared times meter which is meter cubed and pi is about 3 3.14 so that means that dv would be approximately 
meters cubed when the height changes one tenth of a meter when the height was already at 10 meters. So that means that if the height was 10 meters and it changed another additional tenth of a meter when it went up 0.1 meter, the volume would change by 7.5 meters cubed. So therefore you can see how nice we can use derivatives. We have a function that represents the volume as a function of height. Then we take the derivative of that, which gives us the change in volume with respect to height. That's what we mean by respect to. If we then move the dh to the other side, which re represents a change in the height, and this represents a change in the volume, we can actually calculate how much the volume changes when the height changes at a particular point when the height was 10 meters. If you want to know what the change in the volume is when the height was 5 meters, you just put in 5, change it 0.1 meters or whatever the change you want it to be, and then it gives you the change in the volume in respect to that. And that's what we mean by derivatives. We can use derivatives to accomplish that. Now, a quick foretaste of all that. These are called differentials. When you separate the two terms of a derivative by themselves, they're called differentials. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in later videos. But at least this gives you a really good idea of what you can do with derivatives, what they represent, and how they can be used to solve all kinds of problems. That's how we do that.